Hi all, a very good morning. Hope you all are fine and staying healthy. So today I came with a concept called reflex action, which is also a very important topic in coordination lesson. So we will go into the concept. This is VC here. So what is reflex action? So reflex action is an immediate involuntary response to a stimulus without the intervention of brain and is controlled by spinal cord. So reflex action can also be called as a very imp immediate involuntary response to a stimulus which occurred without the intervention of brain and is under the control of spinal cord. The entire pathway can be called as reflex arc. Reflex action is an autonomic response to a sensory stimulus without brain being immediately involved. So we can also define reflex action as an autonomic response to a sensory stimulus without brain being immediately involved. Reflex actions are quick and fast. So if you observe a reflex action, it is very quick and fast. Coming to the mechanism of reflex action. The reflex pathway comprises at least one afferent neuron and one efferent neuron arranged in series. So when we come to the mechanism of reflex action, so the reflex action is under a reflex pathway which comprises at least one afferent neuron and one efferent neuron and which are arranged in series. The afferent neuron receives signal from a sensory organ and transmits the impulse via dorsal nerve root into the CNS at the level of spinal cord. So the afferent neuron will receive the signal from the sensory organ. So when we touch a hard object or a hot object or we tap on a sharp object, these information or signals are transferred or received by the afferent neuron and these are transmitted to the CNS via dorsal nerve root. Okay, and then what happens? The efferent neuron then carries signals from CNS to the effector. So there the spinal cord, there is a interneuron present which coordinates and sends the information to efferent neuron to carry the signals from central nervous system to the effector. Here central nervous system is nothing but spinal cord. The stimulus and response in this way form a reflex arc. Example, knee jerk reflexes as shown in the diagram. So this is the diagram which I try to give about a reflex arc with the knee jerk reflex. And they follow the shortest route for quick response. In general, reflex actions follow the shortest route for giving quick response. These are mostly protective in nature or function. So reflex actions are protective in function. Reflex actions are of two types. What are they? One is simple reflex and the other one is acquired reflex. So we can see the diagram of reflex action here. Coming to simple reflex or simple reflex action. It is unconditional and inborn reflex to a stimulus. So it is not conditioned. It happens all of a sudden. For example, the blinking of an eye when an object comes near to our eye suddenly. So the rapid withdrawal or the rapid withdrawal of hand while burn, sneezing, coughing, yawning, knee jerk reflexes, etc. all comes under simple reflex actions. And coming to the other type of reflex, it is acquired reflex 
acquired reflex is also called as conditioned reflex and is dependent on past experiences and previous trainings and learning so conditioned reflex is also called as acquired reflex it is mainly dependent on our past experiences and what training we have got and what learnings we have for a particular situation i hope you will understand what the diagram represents so conditioned reflexes were first demonstrated by ivan pavlov in hungry dog so we all know who is ivan pavlov so and learning of dancing cycling swimming singing driving are also few examples for conditioned reflexes i hope you enjoyed the session and we will go further to the next important concept in the previous next class so once go through the previous concepts and we'll come to the next very important topic soon